everybody is talking about WrestleMania week, and obviously it makes a lot of sense because last year WWE killed it with everything in terms of surprises, great moments, fun moments. There was a lot of hype last year, especially when you take a look at everything that happened outside of WWE as well. But now this year, WWE is fully in control of the week between Raw, SmackDown, NXT. And then, of course, there's rumors and more rumors and possible surprises leaking and things like that. And yesterday night, late at night, this random idea hit me and I actually tweeted it out. And it was this right here. Uh, Imagine WWE WrestleMania ending with Bullet Club saving Cody Rhodes from the bloodline. You would never see it coming. Now, this tweet picked up a lot of attention overnight. And obviously, it would make sense because. Uh, As you can see in the image, there's Jay White, Cody Rhodes, and the OC against the Bloodline. Now, I don't like to fantasy book things without having some sort of confirmation that somebody is signing with the company. But as you all know, if you follow my main channel, the 50-50 split for AEW and WWE appears to be a big topic as of late. Because where Jay White shows up could very well be, you know, known this very week, right? It's a possibility that AEW has him debut uh officially as part of the roster this wednesday it's a possibility that wwe can have jay white at wrestlemania or it's a possibility that maybe he doesn't show up in either place but the thing is the more and more that i fantasy book this idea in my head i just think about how unique it would be if jay white were to actually debut at wrestlemania with bullet club now i want to take you back a couple years because it is very well documented publicly that WWE at one point in time had pitched the idea for the entire Bullet Club to join WWE during the summer just a few years ago and have a massive storyline throughout the entire summer. The idea was that they were going to go into WWE, basically overtake, overthrow the WWE WrestleMania, and then take over the entire summer. And that was going to be with like Hangman Page, the Bucks, Kenny, Cody. It was this massive idea that was reportedly pitched to them. And then AEW came along, and then because of AEW... This never went down. Now, I imagine with Triple H having full creative power that this could be something that he may want to do. And right now, there's multiple sources, multiple reports that express that WWE is planning to end WrestleMania with an absolute bang that nobody would see coming. Just as my tweet says, you would never see it coming. Now, look, we don't know what's going on with AJ Styles, so let me make it very clear. AJ Styles was injured. Is he back in time? I don't know. But that's why I didn't Photoshop him in the photo, right? He's not Photoshopped in the image because as of right now, he's injured. Finn Balor is part of the Judgment Day. At some point, he'll have to break away. There's layers to the storyline as time goes on. But right now, I look at the core four of the Bloodline and the core four of the OC. And it obviously depends on if WWE wants Cody to win or lose. But if you really, really, really want to make a big splash in the WWE, and you really want to do something special here, and you want to do the next phase or the next chapter of the Bloodline storyline, you can have Roman Reigns technically walk out of WrestleMania as champion with a giant reign, but you can also make the fans happy by having Cody Rhodes, Jay White, and the OC show up. Now, you might be thinking this is not a this is not realistic at all, but when you look back at SummerSlam last year, you definitely didn't expect Triple H bringing Bailey or Dakota Kai into the company as part of damage control. You didn't see it coming. We know it wasn't coming because there was no reports of them showing up whatsoever. There was no reports that Dakota Kai was signing to the company. That was 100% unexpected. My point that I'm making, it's not a far-fetched idea where Triple H could make this happen, especially because we know historically he wanted the Bullet Club to do a takeover invasion angle. So here's how I imagine this going down. I imagine, if I'm fantasy booking this, I would have Cody wrestle a really, really good match. I would have the Bloodline cheat. I would have Solo Sokoa. I would make this one of those moments where Roman Reigns is extremely vulnerable. The last time we've seen that really happen in a prominent way was when he versed Seth Rollins, uh, was it a year and a half ago or so? But it was a DQ finish, right? I imagine you kind of do something similar. No DQ finish, though. Maybe you have Solo Sokoa be the guy to do it. I don't know. Somebody attacks Cody. Roman Reigns gets the pin. Amazing main event. Then I look at WWE and I have them go and do a post-match beatdown. Okay. Interesting. Roman Reigns, everybody stands tall. Cody Rhodes is lying down in the ring. The pyro and everything goes off the air. Copyright logo comes up. You think WrestleMania is over with a post-match beatdown. Copyright shows up. And then... 
you do the unthinkable, the typical NXT takeover style, copyright, let's get off the air type of thing, only for WWE to have the OC and their music hit. Man, the music hits, people won't, they won't know what to expect, right? That's only two people. But then kind of like how Bailey made her entrance at SummerSlam, when you have the OC make their way down to the ring, Jay White comes out. Jay White and the OC go face to face with Cody Rhodes, together with Cody Rhodes against the Bloodline. And I'm telling you guys right now, this right here would be a massive moment. It's not even so much about Jay White, whether people know or don't know Jay White. It's about the idea of basically setting up a very massive moment between the Bloodline and the Bullet Club, right? The WWE's version of Bullet Club. Not to mention, that's just the beginning phase of it all. You can make this lead into war games while the Bloodline continue to have their own storylines within the Bloodline, right? We have Solo Sokoa potentially breaking off eventually. The Usos, at this point, probably lost the tag titles. There's just so much that you can do in that case. So my point that I'm trying to make is that WWE is in a prime spot here because you could do the War Games match. Then eventually, I mean, there's just so much you can do, especially if AJ Styles is ready to return. You could have AJ join. Then you could have Finn Balor join. You can do a yearly storyline here where like somebody is trying to overthrow or take it, take it over. Jay White goes into a singles feud with AJ Styles for, you know, at some point. Uh, next year, WrestleMania, Jay White versus Cody Rhodes. I mean, my point that I'm trying to make is there's so much that could be done. It's definitely WWE's job. If they are going to go this route, they have to entertain the fans, but while entertaining the fans, you got to do more than just have them show up together. You got to explain the history. You got to talk about them. You got to show vignettes of Jay White, video packages, things like that. I suspect that Jay White going to WWE would make a lot of sense if he's involved in this type of storyline. I can't imagine wanting to be in AEW if this type of storyline was pitched to him. Now, was this pitched? I don't know. I'm just giving you guys my fantasy booking. But the tweet was picking up a little bit of attention. Um, a lot of people actually seem to agree that this could be really good booking. And it's always nice when I hear people tell me I should work in creative or something because that just makes me feel good. But I think this would be a really cool way to get people excited. And again, it's not even just the one moment. I, I think a lot of people are looking at this like, oh, well, what about Jay White's reaction? Oh, like People don't know him. That's not what this is about. We were, I never once said this should be about a reaction, a big pop. This is about building a storyline that could be massive for the WWE, and it would make sense for the WWE to do it. Jay White debuting at WrestleMania would be a massive, massive way to bring in a new star into the company, and it's really not that far-fetched. What do you guys think?